assistance to find the dewberry combination that will complete me. Uh, yeah, I need to be I need to be immersed in uh, the scent of my ill-spent youth. If you have pomegranate noir and lalique amethyst, can you leave me a message down below? Squirt them together and tell me if they remind you of dewberry. Wow, that was a long way to go. I could have just made that a short, but I didn't. Hey, hi, hi. I am driving to work and I had a crazy idea and so here I am talking to you about the crazy idea. I'm Yulia Graham and I'm on my way to work. And if you are watching this, that makes you my scent brother, my scent sister, or my non-binary scent sibling. So today I had this crazy idea. I filmed the whole video, I didn't press record. What the heck? I am in search of Dewberry by the Body Shop. If you have any idea what I'm talking about when I say Dewberry by the Body Shop, and you are interested in my crazy idea, When I was a young warthog. When I was a young warthog for you. When I was in university, I, and everyone like me, <laughs> wore a scent called The Body Shop. <laughs> no, a scent called Dewberry from The Body Shop. And it was this clean, berry -y, um, aromatic, fresh, in your face. Wonderful scent that I have been trying to get my hands on ever since. I've been trying to find a community of people who know what the heck I'm talking about uh, because we're of a certain age. The Body Shop no longer makes it and I refuse to go on to eBay or Amazon to pay for essentially poo because you can never know, right? So I'm not into putting my money on poo. So I have been into a little bit of the mixology just Hello, fragrance mixology. Just do you remember Dewberry? I don't know. Ah! So I have three perfumes that when I first initially sniffed them, I was like, oh, that has an element of Dewberry in it. And then I would start to salivate. Anyway, this idea has to do with the fact that I have three scents that remind me of it. And I have paired two of them together today. And I'm gonna continue to pair the combinations and all three. So how many combinations is that? I, so the thing I have to say is that I have these three perfumes and they are as follows. I have the uh, Lalique Amethyst, which reminds me of Dewberry. Uh, Margot S. brought that one to my attention that it reminded her of Dewberry and I was like, what? Add to cart. And then the second one that I thought, oh, that has elements of that fresh brightness is the Bulgari Omnia Coral. And then the third one that when I first sniffed it, I thought this had some elements of dewberry in it is the uh, Blackberry Bay by Jo Malone, but I only have the oil perfumery version and that's all I need. These are all three beautiful scents that I love. The two that I mentioned, the Bulgari Omnia Coral and Lily Gamethyst don't have great lasting power, but the Jo Malone um, Blackberry and Bay oil perfumery version, I don't can't speak to the original, but the oil perfumery version has fantastic uh, longevity. So here's what I did today. I put the oil perfumery all over my body and then I spritzed like there was no tomorrow with the Lalique Amethyst. So the thing I have to say to you is that, oh, I smell like a million bajillion bajillion bucks. Does it smell like dewberry? I don't know because my memory is not that good. My olfactive memory, I, I would say yes. I think there's something missing, but I would say yes. So this particular combination of the Jo Malone um, Blackberry and Bay oil perfumery version and the Lalique Amethyst is a two thumbs up in terms of how it smells. And I don't have any kind of base to come to, to come up with a, a, a rating or a number out of 10 or 100 or whatever for how close it is to Dewberry. So this is me. I'm just a girl driving distractedly, staring at a little green dot, asking the little green dot to tell me if you know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, do you remember Dewberry? And do you have these two 
or three of these. Help me if you have the Blackberry and Bay. Not Blackberry and Bay. Did I say Blackberry and Bay? Oh my gosh, pomegranate. Or I have to get rid of this whole video. Oh my gosh, pomegranate. Wow. If you have pomegranate noir and Lalique amethyst, can you leave me a message down below? Spurt them together and tell me if they're my Joji berry. Wow, that was a long way to go. I could have just made that short, but I didn't. Um, so here's how it's gonna go. Today I have pomegranate noir and Lalique amethyst. Tomorrow I will do Lalique amethyst and Omnia coral, then Omnia coral and Malik Amethyst, then all three of them, then however that combination works. There's three and I want every combination of the three. Can you do that math? Also, if you could do that math, can you leave me a comment down below? You know I love the comments. Okay, that's it. I finally, uh, I've pressed record this time. Do you have a scent that's been discontinued and you're trying to come up with a layering combination? Ah, that will get you. I am so going to cause an accident here, but I'm, I'm literally on a road that has no, the only traffic here are the squirrels and the mice, mice, moose, all of those. Okay, do you have a scent that has been discontinued that you think you can create a layering combination for? I am so interested to know uh, how we are keeping the sense of our ill-spent youth alive and well. So if you have a combination, could you leave it for me in the comments? That would be amazing. This is the turniest part of my trip, and I need to say this right now. Speaking of discontinued scents, my friend Richard uh, did a video about a website, Enchanté maybe it's called, or Enchant or Enchanted. I'm gonna put a thing up in the cards. I don't have any hands to show you where it's gonna be, but it's gonna be up there. Uh, about where he gets some really cool discontinued scents. So you know, if we're if you're pining for your uh, past perfumes, go and check him out. I'm really sorry about that accent to my UK friends. I thank you. I'm Yulia Graham. You're my scent. Good luck. We'll talk to you later.